Hey folks, Dune here. And well, if you haven't heard the news already, well, there was a huge, huge gathering in Washington D.C. and the um, a million, uh, let's just say Mediterranean March. Yeah, I'm not even gonna give them justification by calling them a real name, but the million Mediterranean March was an abject and complete total failure. They said, we're going to have these huge numbers of people strutting around, basically pumping themselves up and saying, you know, we've been so affected, we've been so abused, blah 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 you know, happy horse stuff. <clears throat> it's not the case at all. Maybe, like, not even 25 people was there in toto. And I do mean, like, the guys that actually were doing the thing, the news guys, and the actual attendees. And the attendees look like a Star Wars cantina bar of stupidity, so... Uh, enough, <laughs> enough on that one. But you know, that's kind of like that political thing where these guys really tend to, you know, pump themselves up. They create a Facebook page, and the guy that actually did do the thing is kind of an also ran. He's really this. Um, how do I give the guy justification without really calling him his name? Um, okay, he's all right. He's that guy. <laughs> he's that guy, and that basically the the Muslim community that kind of always pops up and makes himself notable for being that guy. I, I'm not going to get justification with other names or anybody like that. I'm really over spiking my stuff here, so let me back my microphone just a little bit. But the uh, the case in point is basically there's some guys in all these communities, and they always tend to pop up out of the woodwork, and they create drama. I mean, they really don't do anything at all. Now, why am I going circular with us with a million, whatever, Mediterranean march? And of course, the biker the biker ride was awesome. They said two million people, okay? Maybe not two million people showed, but somewhere in the number between one million and two million people on Harley Davidson's descended on Washington, D.C. Now, the, the kind of part that sucks is they were not given a stop permit, okay? That means they basically can, like, gather in an area. The Park Service says, okay, we're going to create, like, some kind of traffic go around, and we're going to have some set up, so you guys can create your little get-together, and we'll have it set up in such a means and method that you guys can do your stuff, and you'll be all together, and uh, you can make a show. We're going to have security in place. The news guys can basically have their little line of, you know, demarcation where they can shoot the videos, that, and the other thing, and all the happy horse stuff in that involved. But they said you guys will not get a permit to do this. They gave a permit to the Million Mediterranean March, but did not give a permit to the bikers. The bikers were like, okay, fine. Um, we're not going to get a stop permit, but these are all registered road vehicles, and we can drive on roadways. <clears throat> Skipping. So they actually posted an apology to all the residents of Washington, D.C., saying, look, guys, uh, we're really, really sorry, but here's the way it is. Unfortunately... Uh, the, the way that they've done it to us is they've drawn a line in the sand. I'm not really centered up here, but you know, I'll work with it. So uh, the, we're, we're going to draw a line in the sand, and we're basically going to go through your city. So there's going to be a lot of traffic. There's going to be a lot of noise, and we apologize for that most earnestly, but we wanted to make a political show. Unfortunately, you guys live in Washington, D.C., you kind of get what you get, okay? You paid a lot of money to live in the world's largest national park. It's got a lot of stuff in there. It's okay. It's the world's largest national museum. If you really want to get down and dirty, that's what Washington D.C. really truly is. It is a museum. That's what it is. Now, politically speaking, what did I do? Well, I, I went online and I got something. Um, hang on a second here. Hang on. Let me do another creative edit, just real quick off camera. Uh, hang on a sec. I, I just don't want to show a couple things on camera. You know, trolls and the like. So give, give me two seconds on this one. I kind of forgot to, uh, well, do something here. You know what? Um, yeah, let me, let me just do it like this. Okay, that's going to be quick and dirty. I'm going to kill a barcode. That's all I'm going to do. And I'm going to kill a destination with a um, zip code. Now, if you guys know me and you've dealt with me off camera, you know, you know where I live, all right? It's not like that big a deal. I just don't want to deal with the troll problem. So, I'm going to kill that one off real quick and dirty right now. And it takes about two seconds with a magic marker and about another half a second with a ballpoint pen. And they are flipping illegible. Alright, so, looking at this envelope, which I now have gotten in my formerly nicotine stained fingers, I have received this envelope. I went online and I did that thing called monkey wrenching. Who did I contact? That's right. I contacted the election committee for Hillary 
Ugh, Clinton. And I used a fake name. I used all this other happy horse stuff that's kind of fun. So, what did I get for my trouble? Well, first off, I made them use a stamp. I made them create an envelope. I made them take it from the Internet and create it as an actual fungible object and ship it out to me. So, what did I actually receive? Well, let me crank the camera down just a touch here. You guys can see what I did to myself. But... The, this thing about monkey wrenching is such that <clears throat> if you do do it, you create situations where the campaign has to expend funditure. When you make them spend money, that's money they can't use in other places. And I guarantee you, Hitlery is not rich. Her campaign is not that well funded. There's a lot of people that really truly want her to be, well, that person. And here's the bumper sticker you've seen on some cars. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little bit of creative editing and I'm going to put on here something like NOT. Well, let's just have a little fun for this right here. Let's just have a little fun. Uh, let's just see. Should I be using a black magic marker and a red magic marker? Oh, let's just have a little fun here. Okay, let's just have a little fun. So here's what we do is we go line through Hillary. Line through Hillary, line through Hillary, and we write on here very, very conspicuously. Bam. That very simple and that very easy. You put this on the back of your car inside the rear window. Tape it inside the rear window so they cannot yank it off. That's all you got to do, folks. Contact this guy, and I do say guy because she's about as female as, well, most of the uh, um, transsexuals I've encountered on the Internet. And I don't encounter many transsexuals on the Internet, but let's just say that they're really not he or she, and she kind of fits in that bill. But go ahead and go to this website. Order some of these bumper stickers. Order some of these bumper stickers for people who don't like. Order some of these bumper stickers for addresses that you just know collaterally. Kind of, uh, collaterally? Yeah, collaterally. Okay, do that. Go on that website. Order up an ass load of these things. Every time you cost them money, that's money they can't spend for the election. That's these that they can't give to the people that they think wants to vote for them. Really, nobody wants to vote for Hillary. She's that, well, 800-pound gorilla in the room that you really can't quite get away from, but she's that chick. And I'm saying chick like, you know, like, kind of, sort of, she had a kid, and I recognize the fact that she's kind of, sort of, female, but... Bleh, bleh. All right, that one, folks. Monkey wrench for fun and profit, okay? Order yourself up one of these bumper stickers. And I'm not even going to give you the website. I'm simply going to show you the website, but I'm not going to justify it with saying it. Go to that website, order some bumper stickers, monkey wrench the crap out of her. All right, next one, folks, I'm going to break off. Eat good, keep it a ten ring, and make sure that she doesn't go anywhere near the White House again. Ugh. I'm going to break off on this one. Eat good, keep it a ten ring, and she sucks. See you guys. Peace.